everyone. I'm Christina, the gallery assistant here at the Aurora Cultural Center, and I'm going to show you a simple way of making beautiful and colorful butterflies. At the Aurora Cultural Center's fall exhibition called Flight Squared, there are lots of very pretty butterflies the artist has drawn. These beautiful pictures inspired me to want to make my own butterflies, and you can do it with me. The kind of craft we're doing today uses what's known as symmetry. For something to be symmetrical, it means it has to be the same on either side, kind of like how you have an ear on either side of your head. Butterfly wings are symmetrical too. Both wings look the same, with the same colors in the same places on either side. To get our butterflies to look the same, we're going to learn a trick to make the paint do the symmetry for us. All you'll need for this painting is white paper. If you have printer paper, that's no problem, but a thicker painter will hold up better to getting wet, like construction paper or crafting paper. Poster paint or temper paint. Three colors is best, five or more can get a little bit muddy. You don't want to use watercolors for this. I'm using acrylic paint, which is thinner, so I've thinned mine down by adding some water to my containers. You'll need scissors, some paint brushes, or your fingers, and then paint containers, like small cups or a styrofoam plate that you just put the paint onto. Let's do this craft in eight easy steps. Step one is to prepare your space. Make sure that you have some newspaper or plastic on the table, as this will get messy. You will also want to make sure that you're wearing something you're okay with getting a little paint on. Step two is that we'll fold the paper. And then unfold it so that we can see the line. See how it looks like a book. Step three is applying the paint. Only on one side of the paper do you want to put the paint down. And here is where the fun part begins. You'll want to make sure that the paint is kind of runny and you can add more water if needed. You can apply the paint as dots or as blobs. Just be careful that you don't go too close to the edges as the paint will flatten out like a pancake and it might leak out the sides. Step four, we fold our paper closed, carefully putting the dry side on top of the wet side. Once it's closed, you'll want to squish the paper so that the paint is pressed into the clean side. Be careful not to go too hard and damage the paper. Once you are happy with your squishing, we can open the paper back up again. Beautiful! See how it's exactly the same on either side of the page because it's symmetrical. Once you're happy with your squishing, we can make sure that the paper is drying flat. Once it's fully dry, we're going to cut it out into the shape of a butterfly. You can get help with an adult for the cutting if you need. Here I have one that's fully dry already, which I'll cut now. It's easiest to fold the page back in half again, and then cut just one side to make sure it's symmetrical in shape. Let's try and cut a large number three into the page. Start with the one loop here, go in a little bit, have the other one come here. Let's see what it looks like. Gorgeous! Now that your butterfly is looking beautiful, you can stick it into the window with tape if you want, or what I'm doing with mine is taping it to a larger page here as a thank you to our frontline workers, and I'll put it on the front of our house. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you want to tag Aurora Cultural Center on Instagram or Facebook so we can see your gorgeous creations. If you haven't yet, be sure to check out the Flight Squared Art Exhibition at the Aurora Cultural Center starting on October 17th or in the Town Hall of Aurora once it's open. The exhibition runs from October 17th, 2020 until January 23rd, 2021. Thank you.